Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to expand your knowledge of how to look up values. We're going to go beyond the simple VLOOKUP function, the HLOOKUP function. I'm going to show you how you can look up a value from multiple columns. Here's the scenario. We have an employee database and we've been asked to create lookup formulas to be able to look up specific information. So we want to be able to look up the title for a combination of an employee's first name and last name. All right, the first concept to understand is how we join together two text fields. So if I want to create a combination of the first name and the last name, I use the ampersand to join them together. Equals first name, the cell that contains the first name, ampersand. Now I do want to include a space in between, so I'll do double quotation mark, space bar, double quotation, ampersand, and then refer to the cell with the last name. So here I've calculated the full name using the ampersand to join together text fields. All right, now for the lookup, we're not going to use the VLOOKUP function. What we're going to do is use a combination of the INDEX function and the MATCH function. We're first going to index the values in the field that we want to return the value for. So we want to look up the title. We'll use the INDEX and then we'll use the MATCH to look up this value, first name and last name, in these two fields, first name joined together with last name fields. All right, sounds complicated. Watch as I go through, it's a lot easier. Equals index. Now we can read the definition of an index. It returns a value or a reference of the cells at the intersection of a particular row and column in a given range. The important element is the given range. So we're indexing this field. We want to index the values in the title field. That's what we want to return. Use a comma. Now what we want to do is use the match function. So for the match function, what we see is that there are three arguments. The lookup value. So our lookup value is going to be the joint first name cell. So I point to there, use the ampersand, the cell with the last name. Put a comma. Our second argument is the lookup array. So we'll join together the values in the first name field. And notice that I have named that ampersand. And even though I come through and I select the cells, if I've named the range, Excel uses the name range in the uh, formula. I'll use the concluding argument, which is an optional argument. I'll use zero because I want to return uh, an exact match. Now the first right parentheses closes off the match function. The second right parentheses closes off the index function. Now stop, because this is your gotcha step. What we are creating here is an array formula. And when we enter an array formula, we must use this keyboard combination, Control Shift Enter. So to enter an array, I use Control Shift Enter, and there is my value. So I've looked up the title using the combination of the index and the match functions. Now, if I have another employee, and I've used uh, data validation from a list, so if I want to look up another employee, uh, Danny Daniels over here, you can see that Danny's title is the Director of Finance. Now, let's do one more, but before we look up the division, let's actually name the values in this range. So one way to do that is to select the values and then come up here and give it a name. I give it the name Division, and make sure you hit Enter after that. All right, so now let's do equals index. And we're going to be using names throughout here. So the index is going to be the division. And I really like this in Excel 2007, the function autocomplete. If you've named a named range or a cell, it's included in the drop-down list. All right, so now what are we going to do? We're going to use the match function. And in the match function, first, our lookup value will be a combination of the first name ampersand last name. So those are the individual cells that we're looking up using the ampersand. The lookup array will be a combination of the first name range, ampersand, last name range, and then if we wish we can include a zero to get an exact match. Two right parentheses and then control shift enter. And there you go. Now let's look up another employee. So if I were to come through and say, let's look up Frank Franklin. Now we'll look up Frank Franklin. And Frank Franklin 
is the sales representative and he's in the Acme division. Now this seems rather simplistic which I've used for an example but here would be another uh, application. Let's say we're looking up uh, inventory for autos and let's say we have the manufacturer up there Toyota, Chevrolet, Ford, Nissan and then the model Chevy Malibu, Chevy Suburban, Toyota Prius whatever it may be and we need to be able to return its inventory or its list price or the date of arrival. So there you've seen how to use a combination of the ampersand and to put together the lookup using the index function and the match functions again using the ampersand and this was a function that was an array function. So for an array function we use the keyboard shortcut uh, keyboard combination control shift enter. So this is typical of the lessons that I offer in my 50 best tips series and I'll look for you in the next lesson.